if y'all here right now, I just want y'all to know, I know how it is, you know? I make these videos because I know y'all need them. I know y'all can relate to how I feel about this game. So, if you're watching this video right now, man, be sure to hit that like button. That's the first step of the video. And the rest of the way, I'm going to show y'all the way. I'm going to lead y'all the way because I know a lot of y'all are grinding. And this 2K grind is something serious, you know? If you, if you don't play 2K or people who don't play 2K don't understand the grind or the amount of time that goes into this game because they might just see it as just a game. But I know a lot of y'all want to hit 99. But not only do y'all want to hit 99, y'all want to keep 99. Now, I'm going to show y'all a very simple way to do that on multiple builds. Now, understand something. The way I'm going to show y'all is very, very simple. You know, there's a couple ways. There's a few ways you could do it, but I'm going to show y'all the most simplest way. Now, the most quickest way to do it is you need to be able to get takeover as fast as possible. Now, if you're trying to get takeover as fast as possible, if you're playing my career, I'll tell y'all to put on my career badges. So, when you're playing my career... Put on badges is going to help you get takeover quicker when you're doing highlight plays. So, for example, Showtime, that's going to boost your team takeover. Now, if you're a playmaker or you can have playmaking badges, you put on flashy passer as high as you could possibly put it. Because if you throw those flashy passes, you'll get a lot of boost to your takeover. Simple. Now, stick with me because I know a lot of y'all know how 2K works, but y'all don't. a lot of people don't know exactly what moves are going to give them the most progress. So... I'm a playmaking shot creator, for example. My part, pie chart's pretty much mainly shooting and playmaking. So I get the most for doing shooting and playmaking. Now, if you're a finisher, you're a slasher, you're going to do the most for getting dunks, uh, finishing at the basket. If you're a defensive, rebounding type of a build, you're going to get more progress for doing dunks and rebounding. It all depends on what build you got as fast as your takeover goes up. You know what I'm saying? So if I go shoot a layup, it's not going to go up as much. But if I dunk, of course, if it's a highlight dunk, it'll go up a little bit faster. Now, of course, if you can play my play nation games, go ahead. Play a my play nation game. Don't waste your time playing regular my career games. But at this moment, my play nation games aren't available to a little bit later, you know, today. Now I'm about to show y'all how it's done, and I'm explaining it to y'all. The quickest way to get 99 overall and to get 99 overall rating every game, 99.9 at that, is to get takeover twice and then sim out. If you get takeover twice and sim out, you will be able to get a 99.9 .9 overall rating every single game and without playing the whole game. So that'll help you get your get to 99 as fast as possible on all your my players. Now, that's the way that I will go about it. Now, the other way you could do it is, of course, get a good teammate, teammate grade and win the game. That's the most simplest way. You know, you get a good teammate grade and you win the game. But getting takeover twice in my career is very easy. It's not hard at all, especially if you have the right badge. And as you can see, my takeover meter is over halfway full, and I had made a couple mistakes, but it's okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you get a loud point of the score, you know, certain things are going to take your takeover meter down. So don't commit fouls. Try not to commit fouls. I know a lot of y'all want to go for steals. If you can get a steal, go ahead. But, you know, it's not going to be detrimental if you commit a foul or they score on you because it's easy to get takeover. Now, I'm throwing flashy passes. As you can see, flashy passes are going to boost me up a lot more because I have playmaking in my build. I have playmaking and shooting, so when I'm shooting deep threes and playmaking, it's going to boost me up. Now, as a finisher, as a slasher, Euro steps, contact dunks, alley-oops, all that, you know, it's going to help you out. Now, if I throw alley-oops as well, that's going to boost me up, especially if I have on Lob City Passer. So, if you're a playmaking, put on a lot of playmaking badges that's going to help you finish. Dimer, uh, Lob City Passer, if you need it, but Flashy Passer is going to give you the most boost, you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm telling you. Also, I advise y'all to have a game on pro difficulty. There's no need to play this game on any difficulty higher than pro. I mean, you will get a little bit bonus, um, I guess, towards badges and uh, maybe my points if you put it on All-Star. If you want to go to All-Star, you can play that as well or Superstar Hall of Fame. But I just get the game on pro because it's super easy. You know, I'm not finna, I don't need to put the game any higher, you know. At least while my player nation games exist because in those games you get two times the progress towards your badges, your VC, and your my points, which help you get to 99 overall even faster. So if you're doing this while grinding badges, it's even better because I know a lot of us have hit 99 and we lose it. So if you hit 99 and you don't want to lose it because if you don't already know, each overall attribute over 95 gives you a plus one attribute to all your attributes. So if you hit 99, you're going to have plus one to all your attributes. And I know a lot of y'all find that handy. A lot of y'all find that helpful. Now, when you get in takeover, just do whatever you want. You know what I'm saying? Just trying to run the meter down, score, get some buckets, work on some badges, of course, if you need them. Um, try to run the score up. Run the score up because, like me, y'all can see I'm 7-19 right now. 
if you can run the score up and get to this, the second half, you can ask the semi with BC if you're up 25 points or more. Now, if you're playing on five-minute quarters and your team's not that good, of course you're going to need some help from your team when they take you out. But if you can run the score up on them, you can just ask out and get BC as well. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to ask the semi with BC in the second in the second half. Hopefully my team is up at least by 25 points. Now, fortunately for me, my team's a demigod. So it's not going to be hard for my team to go up 25 points. I have a demigod team. Now, for some of y'all, y'all might have to carry y'all team a lot more. And I know it's going to be a couple of y'all in the comments asking how I got my team like that. That glitch has been passed a long time ago. It just stuck on this on this, on this this My Career file that I have so I can still use it and take advantage of it. That's why it's important for y'all to have those notifications turned on and be subscribed so y'all don't miss none of these fire glitches. Now, as you can see, I'm in the second quarter. They put me in under three minutes. It's not going to be nothing for me to get my takeover. And then I can just send out if I'm going strictly to get 99 overall because I know a lot of y'all want to be the best possible build that y'all could possibly be in the park now if you play in the park and whatnot that's where things get tricky to keep your 99 overall because you can win in the park you can play a have a solid game but they it's so random in the park sometimes you might have a solid game that might give you a 97 that might give you a 98 that might give you a 96 something like that or even a 95 you know if you just maybe somebody else on your team is just going off and they have the upper hand and somebody's not guarding them and they have the better matchup so that 2K penalizes you for that, which forces you to keep playing the game. You know what I'm saying? It's a very smart tactic if you think about the way that they have it. They want you to keep playing the game. So in order to get you to keep playing the game, they're going to drop you down to 98, 97 to make you want to get back to 99. But if you could play some my career here and there and just get the 99.9 .9 to keep your overall up consistently, you can keep the 99 overall. If you just play a game here and there, get you some BC. You don't have to play a whole game. You can see how quick it takes me to get takeover. Flashy pass, boom, right there. I'm almost there. I haven't been in a game long at all. So it's not a hard thing to do. Even if you're not a playmaker, even if you're a big, of course, if you're a big, I'd hit him with a lot of post moves. I'd hit him with a lot of dunks, a lot of inside scoring. But it also depends on your pie chart. Remember, do things related to the pie chart that you picked. Now, of course, I can show y'all this on my slashing build as well. That would be absolutely easy because it's easy to attack the basket on this game. It's easy to finish. So if you have finishing, that's not even a problem. Just I would just, on fast breaks, throw yourself a lot of alley-oops. That's how I get a lot of my uh, pat, my flashy passes. I just get the ball, let the computer miss. It's on pro, so they're going to miss a lot. And I just take off on the other end, you know. And when I take off, they don't play good transition defense. Transition defense on this game is absolutely atrocious. It's awful. It's is the computer has no IQ. So, as you can see there, I take a shot. I get the ball back. I can see I'm close to my takeover. I get a steal. I go for a lovely highlight dunk right here. And then, boom, I'm back in takeover. So, at this point in the game, if you just want 99 overall, you can sim out the game. And that's going to help you get to 99 overall as quick as possible. Just get takeover twice. Sim out with no VC and you'll be good. But, at this rate, I'm looking at the time on the clock. My teams are already up 30 points. If you're up over 25 points entering the third quarter, you can ask to send out with VC. Like I said, my team's a demigod team, so going on pro against all these other teams, my team's going to destroy absolutely everybody. So, of course, I'm going to just go ahead and get this VC while I'm here because why not? You know, I'm not going to just ignore this free VC. But at this point in the game, you could just send out. Now, of course, if you get your takeover and you want to grind your badges, grind your badges. Do what you need to do to get all your badges because once you can take over on pro, and you got some badges, it just makes everything that much easier. So, in reality, showing you how to get your takeover even faster is a way to grind your badges even quicker, too. Because you know it's going to give you, like, plus 10 or how many ever attributes to your main attributes, which is absolutely crazy. Now, this is something very, very easy for everyone to do. I have 19.6 assists in the first half. Now, of course, my my player is a starter. He's a superstar, so he gets a lot of minutes. So, I get enough playing time to do that in the first half. But 19 points, 6 assists. That's very, very dominant right there in the first half. But that's not even hard to get. You know, if you if you play 2K, you know you can get like 40 points in a quarter. I can get 40 points in the first quarter, no problem, if I'm really trying to score like that. I mean, I already had 20 and 6 assists. I was strictly going for takeover. So anything in this game that you want to achieve, you can. You know, you can. Now, as you can see there, I've been in the game 8 minutes. I can ask to send out with BC. Boom, I'm going to ask to send out with BC. Now, once the game is over with, you will see that where my my points is all right. If you're at 95 already. Once you're already at 95, that's when the meter starts going up to allow you to get to 99, 99.9. .9. My overall game performance, 99.9. .9. You will get that every single time. Now, some of y'all might look at me and be like, why are you not at 99? But listen, I make a lot of videos. I sim a lot of games that gives me automatic 95 at the end. So that's why. But I'm at 98.3. It's not going to take me nothing to get to 99 if that's what I want to achieve. So if y'all want to achieve that, y'all can. 
But anyways, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button, hit that sub button, turn those notifications on. Until next time, man, Denski out.